Hey there, Vsauce John here. Let's talk about sex. It's been said that men think about sex every seven seconds. Is that true? Well, the quick answer is no. Men do not think about sex every seven seconds. It's a myth that's been debunked. Kinsey research shows that men think about sex a lot, but there's no quantifiable second way of measuring it. Uh, but it's a myth I've heard since I was a child. I've seen it in memes. I've heard it come up in random conversations. But no, it's not true. Or is it? So to answer that question, you really have to ask yourself, what is that statement actually trying to say and what qualifies as a thought? I think if most people think about that statement for at least a minute, they're gonna realize it doesn't really mean that men think one, two, three, four, five, six, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom. Men are not clocks, or are they? Some definitions of a clock are a mechanical or electronic device that pulses in regular intervals to measure the passage of time. Well, the human body is a mechanical or electronic device that pulses in regular intervals and we can measure the passage of time. Yes, the heartbeat changes over time, it goes up and down, but a wristwatch can too. If the battery is dying on it or if it's not working properly, it can speed up or slow down over time. We still consider a wristwatch to be a watch and a clock, so maybe the human body is also a clock. But let's wind back to the original question. Since most people would agree that men don't think about sex literally every seven seconds, then most people would probably assume that that statement just means on average. So how do you measure the average length of a thought? Let's imagine that these paper towels represent one minute of time. And this seasoning salt is one thought. So this is one thought. And this is one minute. So if you're talking about average thoughts throughout a day, you'd have to be able to take one individual thought and split it up to average it out. So right now, this would represent one thought in a minute about sex. So if we split it, boom. Now we split it to average it out. Now it's two thoughts per minute. It's every 30 seconds. We, but if we can keep splitting it, now it's a thought on average every 15 seconds. Split it again. Now we're uh, close to every seven seconds. The question is, if you're going off of this metric of averages, couldn't you just keep splitting it more and more and more? Just keep splitting it and splitting it and splitting it. Have each grain of seasoning salt represent one thought. If you're, if you're able to split it up into averages and you're able to split up a thought into individual sections, then you could just keep splitting it infinitely and if you're going off averages, then you could boil down that one thought into saying that men think about sex every microsecond. I think the question also needs to be asked, what even is sex? Is sex only intercourse? Or is foreplay also sex? And if foreplay is sex, then is dating somebody sex itself? Merriam-Webster says that sex can be defined as a sexually motivated phenomena or behavior. So that basically boils down to any action that is motivated by sex is sex. Robert California says that all life is sex. So if you have a job so you can make money, so you can be a normal functioning member of society, so that someone would want to have sex with you, then is your job sex? Because in that sense, anything you think about almost is sex. I think the question also needs to be asked, what is seven? Is it a number? Does it come after six and before eight? Well, yeah, it does. Or does it? In the Bible, 777 represents the Holy Trinity. It's a perfect number. It represents God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So one third of 777 is just seven. So is seven also God? No, no, it's not. It's just the whole number. But what is a whole? Is this end of a straw a hole? Or is it two holes? And what is this straw made out of? It's made out of metal. But what is metal? Well, metal is a genre of rock music that was developed in the late 60s and early 70s. But what is music? Well, it's a science or art in ordering tones and sounds in succession. Huh. But what is art? Art is the expression 
or application of human creativity, skill, or imagination. But what are humans? They are 60% water. Just like this. So in conclusion, men are clocks and they think about work every water number of seconds. And as always, thanks for watching.